Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to discuss and fix one error regarding the execution of C and C++ programs on Visual Studio Code. So in our previous video, we made a simple hello world program in C++ and tried to run it on Visual Studio Code. So whenever we press this run code button, then we get the hello world printed over here in the output. So if I now modify the program into this code here, in which we simply input two values a and b and the program prints their sum so if i now try to run this code then we can see that this line is printed over here and now if i try to input the values of a and b like 12 or 13 then it says cannot edit in read only editor that's because this is an output tab and as the name suggests it only shows output and cannot take the inputs so therefore it's saying cannot edit in read only editor so our problem is that we are not able to give inputs to our program and this is the problem that we are going to solve in this video we need a way to give inputs to our program now you all might already know that VS Code is just an intelligent editor and only helps you in writing the code. To run the codes, you need a terminal that's located over here. If you can't see this terminal, just go to terminal over here and click on new terminal. Or you can press the Control plus tilde key located below the escape key on your keyboard. So when you open a new terminal, you will see a blank terminal like this. Now click on it once and type anything and click enter. Then you will see some error of course as the terminal can't accept just anything. But after that error, you can see something over here. Now let me clear the terminal first. So for that, just type in CLS command and press enter. Now the CLS stands for clear screen. So now we can see over here some path and this is the path of your current working directory. Now this, the terminal over here is the place where we can give inputs to our program. But for that, we need to run the program in terminal and not in the output tab. So for that, click on file click on preferences, click on settings, here click on extensions, scrolling down we can see run code configuration, just click on this and in the run code configuration, scrolling down a bit, we can see a run in terminal option over here, just check the box for this option. So this run code button over here is provided by the code runner extension that we install. And this option over here will tell the code runner to run the code in the terminal and not in the output when we press this run code button. So after checking this option, just close the VS code and open it once again. Now if we go back to our program and press this run code button, then we can see that our code is now running in the terminal over here and we see the line enter A and B. Now if I click on the terminal and enter the values for A and B, say 12 and 13 and press enter, then we can see that the program displays the sum as 25. So now we are able to successfully give the inputs to our program and print out the desired results. So I hope the problem is now fixed and we can run all our C and C++ programs on Visual Studio Code. Thank you guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share and comment on this video and just press that subscribe button to get notifications about new videos as soon as I upload them.